In Activity 2, Comparing Objects Alike and Different, students use their senses to gather information about objects. First, students discuss these properties of objects using descriptive vocabulary, and then they compare objects by shape, color, and texture. From the kit, you will need Activity Sheet 2, Plastic Trays, Parquetry Blocks, Cotton Balls, Counting Chips, Pheasant Feathers, Pine Cones, and pieces of sandpaper. You will also need to provide small paper bag and objects that you can sort by color, shape, or texture, such as crayons and leaves. To prepare for this activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 2 for each student. Put together a tray of objects for each team that includes two of each of the following items. Parquetry blocks of the same shape and color counting chips of the same color, cotton balls, pieces of sandpaper, pine cones, and feathers. You may wish to include other small objects that you can collect, such as crayons and leaves. Just make sure that each team's tray contains the same objects. As you prepare the trays, set aside one of each object to use as an example as you guide the activity and lead the class discussion. To complete the preparation, place a cotton ball in a paper bag but do not let the students see you do this. This will be the mystery object. To begin session one, ask students, would you rather sleep in a bed or on the floor? Why? Students will probably say that they'd rather sleep in a bed. Make note of the describing words students use, such as soft, hard, warm, and cold. Next, introduce the term property to the students. Explain that a property is something about an object we can observe with our senses. For example, the words hard and soft tell about the properties of a bed and the floor. Explain to the class that to describe an object is to tell about its properties, perhaps by telling or describing its color, its shape, and what it feels like, or its texture. Review with the class the five senses, see, hear, touch, smell, and taste. As you discuss the senses, make sure to tell the students not to put anything in their mouths unless they are told to do so. Next, distribute a tray of objects to each team and allow students plenty of time to explore the objects. Ask students to share their observations about the objects and have a few students hold up different objects and use words to describe it. Encourage words that describe the properties of the object, such as color, shape, and texture. Start a properties chart to record student responses. Show the students your paper bag with the mystery object inside and explain that the mystery object is similar to an object on their trays. Explain you will be first describing the mystery object and that the students will then need to find the matching object on their trays and hold it up. Peek in the mystery bag and give one hint at a time. For example, the mystery object is soft or the mystery object is white. After the second clue, students should hold up the cotton ball from their trays. Hold up the cotton ball from the bag so that the students can see if their match is correct. Use the word alike to describe the match and explain that objects that are alike are the same in some way. For instance, all cotton balls are soft and white and are therefore alike. Make sure students understand that when we compare objects, we find out how they are alike and different. Next, engage the class in an investigation into the property of color. Review colors if necessary and ask students, does your tray have a yellow object? Students should identify either the yellow chip or the yellow block. Have students look around the classroom to identify other objects that have the color yellow as a property. Make sure to use the words alike, same, and like for colors that match. To help students understand the term different, point to an object that is not yellow and explain that the colors of the yellow and the non-yellow objects are different because colors are not alike. Add these color words to the properties chart. Introduce another property, shape. Hold up a square block and challenge students to locate an object on their trays or in the classroom with the same shape. Students should identify that the shape of the block is square. Take this opportunity to review other shape terms such as a circle, square, 
triangle, and diamond. Hold up a block of another shape. Point to several classroom objects and have students tell you if the block and the objects are alike or different in shape. Repeat this process with several blocks of different shapes. Add these shape words to the properties chart. Remind students of your discussion of hard and soft objects at the beginning of the activity and explain that these words tell what an object feels like and describe another property of objects called texture. Encourage students to think of more texture words by asking them how the objects on their tray feel. Students may come up with rough, smooth, bumpy, scratchy, and slippery. Add these texture words to the properties chart. Combine teams of two into teams of four and instruct the new teams to compare all the objects on their two trays and find objects that have one property alike. For example, the students might group together all round objects, all soft objects, all brown objects, or all smooth objects. Make sure to circulate to provide assistance as needed. As you move from team to team, invite the students to tell you how the objects they have grouped together are alike. Next, distribute Activity Sheet 2 and help students complete it. When they have finished the activity sheets, ask students to share how they think the objects are alike or different in terms of shape, color, texture, and weight. Finally, review the Properties Experience chart and have students describe the properties of objects you point out in the classroom, using the chart as a guide for color, shape, and texture words. To conclude the activity, collect all items from the trays and return them, along with the trays themselves, to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science readers, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.